Here's a quick and easy method in fabbing a curved tube to be used as a grab bar. Use a piece of plywood as a work platform and set a nail the distance from the edge of the ply to whatever knuckle clearance you would like for the grab bar. Lay the curved piece of tube onto the ply with the inside curve against the nail and position each end of the tube to hang over the edge of the ply. Take another strip of plywood or any other straight edge piece and sandwich the tube between it and the platform. Line up the edges of the ply and mark a line on both ends and the sides of the tube. Place the tube loosely into the jaws of the sink 180 and loosen the swing arm so that it can pivot. The goal now is to line up the swing arm so the center line of the hole saw is parallel with both marks on the tube while at the same time the edge of the hole saw will be in line with the nearest mark on the tube. To help with this take a dowel or a long drill bit or any piece that's straight. We'll use a piece of quarter inch square stock and position it along the top center groove of the arbor housing so it projects out across the tube. Maneuver the arm and the curved tube simultaneously until the edge of the hole saw is in line with the first mark on the tube and the straight piece is parallel with both marks. Tighten the swing arm and the vise. Use a C-clamp to give added stability to the movable side of the jaw. Without this, the tube could possibly shift, and you don't want that to happen. Notch the first end. Flip the tube 180 degrees and line up the edge of the hole saw with the mark on the tube. There's no need to reposition the swing arm during this alignment because the arm is correctly set already. Make the second notch and the grab bar is ready to weld after some light touch up. The SYNC 180 wasn't necessarily designed to grip curved tubing, but for this type of project, it does a pretty good job.